north of the metro overnight. They're going down, down now in Guthrie, but they have not left yet. News 9's Gan Matthews found longtime Guthrie residents tend to stay pretty calm when the water starts rising. Gan? Well, guys, Cottonwood Creek crested at 8.30 this morning, and it's been receding ever since. So the worst is past, and frankly, the worst was never that bad uh, to begin with. There were no injuries, there are no people unaccounted for, and the water did not get into any houses. And because Guthrie residents experience these storms and flooding just about every spring, they don't scare easy. That's a lot of water under the bridge at College Street. And overnight, it crept uncomfortably close to the Guthrie Granary, which is both business and home for the Press Grove family. This one definitely came up faster than any of the rest. The rest of them were more of a gradual and longer uh, period, but uh, this one uh, really came quick. He used a stick to mark the water's advance. It reached its crest at 10 a.m. As the water went down, Sarah Pressgrove plunged in to the family's backyard pool. Why not? And something tells me you didn't panic uh, when all this started. No. We, <laughs> we, we've been through it before, so, I mean, we're used to it. Six-year-old Trenton Pressgrove knew an opportunity when he saw it. No reason to let a temporary lake go to waste. And the waters have receded so much that the city manager believes that later this evening he'll be able to open up all the city streets that previously had been underwater. So Guthrie, this divided town in Logan County, will be reunited once again. Back to you. Very good, Gan. Thank you. Now, the Guthrie city manager also says the floodwaters did get inside a dozen businesses on West Noble Street. The store owners had about a five-hour warning to get prepared. There are some safety risks with contaminated floodwaters. The city of Oklahoma City is offering advice to stay safe and stay healthy. If you do come in contact with contaminated water, you should shower and then bathe with soap as soon as possible. If you're injured while in polluted water, contact your doctor regarding vaccinations needed to prevent infection. Once the water has receded, rinse or wash outside areas with a garden hose. And if an infected area, an area may be uh, infected with, uh, contained with chemicals rather, you should contact the Department of Environmental